So telling the story of Steve Jobs working at Atari, this is one of the earliest Atari computer systems, bridging the gap between home computing and home gaming. And without this original technology or predecessor to the IBM and things of that nature, you know, you think of him as the father of the modern day microprocessor. We wouldn't have our phones and our micro technology today. And so the developers working at Atari creating these classic games, these 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 milestones in gaming weren't always appreciated for their work. Thus they I know everyone knows a movie called Ready Player One, Parzival, whom he was actually sat at the round table with King Arthur, one of his right hand men. The original developers created the first Easter egg in video gaming to get recognized for their work. So and with these two genres have in common, I've always been a big fan of Star Wars and any space odyssey of that nature. You, you know, something interstellar and timeless. Long ago in a galaxy far, far away, you think of technology from the past and being so advanced. I remember a movie and a game called The Last Starfighter where a young man came upon an arcade game at a rest stop in the middle of nowhere and began playing. The game was actually a training simulation and only the most elite pilots would progress. The young man actually became the commander of a Starfleet. Again, dealing with the classics here, we want to reach into the past for futuristic technology. With Star Wars, you had revolutionary special effects, strong family bonds, stories of conflict and triumph through perseverance, philosophical and ideological religion, a moral code toward balance and the greater good. So we're going to get right into our unboxing here. Thank you, BGA, for doing quality work. Again, at this point in time, I'm not endorsed or affiliated with DJ or Lucas Arms at the time of this video. Uh, who knows what the future will hold. Let's see what's in this extra large box they keep sending me. Everyone remember to recycle, care for the environment. That's how we can save it for the future generations. It's part of why we create a game and trade here, is to preserve the classics and tell the story of where gaming began to know where it's going to, and to bring and keep alive all these great memories that we've developed. Playing games together. Here we go. There's our mystery cube. I see the big ones in the front, so I'm gonna spin it around. Are you ready for this? I'm ready for this. I'm ready for this. Let me see how our camera looks. It looks good enough. All right, I'm gonna do the Atari stuff first. Nope. Well, they've got it kind of packaged uniquely. <laughs> we'll see how we're. We'll see. So it's actually just a big joke. And a boxing glove on a spring is going to come out. Oh, yeah. It's Looney Tunes style. Totally. Acme video game. Like the Jack in the Box. Funny, like the spring on a glove, a Joker, Jack Nicholson, Jack in the Box. I don't know. It's all, it's all kind of crazy. Jack Nicholson. It's all kind of crazy. I'm the Joker, baby. See, I know one of these, the box was fairly dented in, but I still want to come complete with the classic. Yeah, the original box is the original box. They're, they're all in the original boxes, factory sealed. Alright, I'm just going to reach in here. Okay, I see what that one is. I'm going to try to get the Atari stuff. Nice. Here we go with the Atari stuff. Let's see what we got. Recycling this bubble wrap, so save it. I'm going to save that one until after the 
This is the premiere of VGA created factory sealed. Did anyone ever play? Come here. Did anyone ever play Defender in the arcade? There you are, factory sealed VGA 75. That artwork, classics. Set that there. This one, I kind of like this one. It seems like some early TSR. I know the box is damaged, but Sword Quest, Fire World, classic artwork. And you have the original DC comic book sealed inside with it. It's classics, preserved for all time. I'm gonna just lay that on top of our keyboard here. And now, on to the Star Wars stuff. Who's watching The Mandalorian? Who's loving it? I'm going to do like so. And pow! We've got our Star Wars Game Boy games from the original A New Hope and Empire Strikes Back. A red and blue saber here. These were released by Limited Run Gaming, and the first time I saw one on card, I was just like, wow! The artwork is amazing. That's why I preserved these. I thought they would look great, museum quality. Looking at some retro history in the making here, ladies and gentlemen. It's beautiful stuff. So, there you are, ladies and gents. Today's lesson and a window to the past. We want to bridge the gap between home gaming and home computing. Build a bridge to the stars. I had... There you are, preserving our classics. Look at that artwork. I always like Star Wars. There's a piece of the puzzle yet to be revealed. I will give you a clue, it involves the princess. A strong female lead coming to save her hero. A lot of people refer to Kylo Ren as the new Disney princess. I beg to differ. I say that these characters were in their adolescent phase and this young man just learning to use his powers and command so many forces and what is later to be revealed coping with a sense of betrayal. It's a lot to take on. So there you have it ladies and gentlemen. Hold it. Something just flew in off the cards. One second. It says, Ha! Made you look. The more you observe and experiment, the more it changes. I always liked Star Wars. Long ago, in a galaxy far, far away, Think of reaching into the past for futuristic technology. Revolutionary special effects, strong family bonds, and stories of conflict and triumph through perseverance. The Jedi Knights were not originally warriors, but keepers of peace, defenders of the balance. There's a strong philosophical and ideological religion, as it were, a moral code toward balance and the greater good. The classic artwork. We got an 85 on our new hope on card thought it was cool that these were like action figures oh god an 85 plus on our empire strikes back is that 85 plus near mint plus Now 
we see the male as the hero. Sometimes it takes a strong female lead, bounty hunter Leia, coming to rescue her man. One remembers Raiders of the Lost Ark, bridging the gap between movies and games. I guess it depends which world you're in. Thus is the synergy between gaming and film, forces working together in alignment to achieve a common goal. It's a beautiful thing.